Welcome back to User Event Looks, where I give you a quick rundown on important features in Godot 4. So, today, we're working on random numbers. Really easy. Now, normally, you would hear about these as, like, maybe RNG, or random number generation. But it's all basically just random numbers. It's very simple. Just in case this tutorial isn't enough for you, I've got the docs linked in the description in case I somehow missed something that you really needed. To jump straight into this, I'm just going to show you how to make a quick little random number generator. It's really simple. You just go down to where you would normally declare your variables, usually at the top, and you type in variable, and then the name of your random number. I'm just going to type in random, and then it will equal a random number generator, just like that, dot new. And what that'll do, that'll set up another random uh, number generator just for this variable. Now just a quick way to test it. We could go in here, print, and then random dot randi range, or not randi. And now I'll just start giving you a huge string of random integers. Oh my god. And it's just any number from negative uh, integer overflow to the integer overflow. And they can get pretty won uh, wonky. These would be good for like generating maps or seeds or something. Very useful. And that's just randi. Hopefully it's obvious that the i in random i stands for integer because it just generates integers. Now, if you want a random float, you just need to change it to rand f for random float. And then run it again. Don't focus on this, just down here. Random floats. Now, it only generates them zero point whatever but that's just how it's supposed to work. Basically the same uh, concept as the random integers, except for with floats. Now, say you want a number in a certain range, like one to 10, right? What you do, it's rand, it's either rand i range or rand f range, uh, depending on if you want a float or an integer. I'm just gonna go with an integer because those are easier to read. First you put in the number that you want to start with and then the very last option and then you'll just get a list in between all of there. So like see nothing before or after 10 or 0 it's just 5, 8, 10, 9 you know all of that and that can go up to any number as long as you know it works with the integers and with Gido 4 you don't need to call randomize anymore like uh, it's unnecessary since it automatically hooks it up with a seed for uh, the time on your computer and since time is always changing you'll never get the same seed once but in case you need it for whatever reason, you can still call it, but there isn't that much of a point to do so. Now, just to show you guys what the uh, random number generators can do, I've actually went into Dungeons Risk, the one of the games I'm making right now, just to showcase. All right, so I've got an example. This is for the large chests, just uh, the chests that you can find anywhere in the game space and if you could see I have two random numbers set up just as RNG 1 and 2 looks very complicated but it boils down to number generate and then it matches and then things happen and that is just about it for random numbers uh, I recommend looking at the docs and maybe other things but I also just recommend implementing some sort of random feature into your game just to get the hang of things remember i have the docs in the description and there's also a playlist that'll pop up somewhere on the end card probably that just has all my other tutorials and also if you're interested in that dungeons risk game i also got a playlist for that too 
Uh, that's all. I'm done here.